Okay, here's the uh, here's the shape from the original Chevrolet uh, instrument panel, uh, 1929 Chevrolet. Uh, we scanned it, uh, made it full size, and imported it into AutoCAD. Um, that's why we scanned the ruler at the same time, so we can get the uh, can get the size right. Okay, a lot of people have been wondering how we actually generate the G code for our part. This is the dash insert that we've traced over the scan that we uh, that we uh, scanned the dash part. We've saved this as a DXF drawing, and then we've gone into SheetCam, which is this software, and we've actually imported the drawing into into SheetCam. And in SheetCam, actually, we've designated the torch settings for uh, 30,000 steel, so that is designated its height, its speed, and its kerf offset. And then we just go up here and we click on the P, and the P will generate the G code. And we've already saved it. We'll save it under this name here, and we'll save that. And now that G code has been generated. So once we go over to the, the plasma table and we use Mac, we will open that G code file, and that's what actually will drive the uh, the stepper motors and turn the torch on and off and set the height of the torch. Okay, so we've imported that uh, G code into uh, into Mac, and we're uh, we're going to run it. Not too bad. Okay, so if we wanted to cut that uh, dash insert out of uh, one eighth steel, as opposed to the thirty thou that we cut it out of just now, what we would do is we would take our same AutoCAD drawing, uh, no modifications necessary to change it. Uh, its dimensions are correct. We would go into sheet cam. We would import the drawing again as you can see the tool paths are already set by sheet cam all the start points are determined all we would do is we would go down the lower left here and change the tools instead of using the plasma torch settings for 30,000 steel, we use the plasma torch settings for 1 8 inch thick material. And that will adjust the torch height, it will adjust the kerf offset to get a dimensionally correct part, and we will just reset the amperage on the, uh, on the plasma cutter manually for the new thickness of material. So here we'll, it's, I'll just show you how you do that. 
we'll just delete that operation. We'll go and we'll choose tool and the new tool here will be, we pull that off our menu, you can see we have 30 thou, 1 16th, 1 8th, 3 16th, quarter inch. We'll just go and choose the settings for 1 8th steel. And we'll just say OK. And that shows up down here. And now we go and hit the post processor P button, which will create the G code file, which we will take into Mac and run. So here, dash insert, I've already saved it, dash insert. Uh, it's actually uh, T3, which is our torch settings for um, 1 8th. And we'll just save that. And it confirms that that has been uh, generated. So next step is we'll take that generated file and we'll run it in Mac and cut the part out in 1 8th steel. Okay, so here we are with the setup. We're in Mac. We've imported the uh, G code for the 1 8 thick uh, uh, dash insert. I've checked here with our 20 thou piece to make sure it fits in the piece of material we have. No problem. We've set our 0 0 point here. So all we have to do is just let her rip. Of course the piece isn't hot because it's uh, been splashed with water, but there's our 1 8 dash insert, which is essentially dimensionally the same as the others. So of course we can continue going up in thickness, we just have to keep revising the G-code, take into account the uh, different torch height and the different um, uh, curve offset to get a dimensionally uh, equivalent part.